talk to Dr. Lecter. I don't mind saying, whenever I've watched, it scares the living you-know-what out of me. Yeah. When you read the script, start with you. Mm -hmm. Does it scare you? Are you, are, you, are, you uh, are you as frightened as we are when you first see the script? No, I'm not. I mean, obviously, we're on set. We know how it works. I can become fascinated with the stories and the story that's come out of Brian's head. Uh, I can be extremely fascinated with some of the beauty that surrounds the stories. Even though it's horrific, there is a certain beauty to anything that Brian writes. So I would say I'm more fascinated than, than shocked. How about you? I think that's exactly right. And also, it's fast moving. You know, it's, it's TV, so these scripts are coming out and we're going to work on them a few days later. Um, and so, in a way, yeah, you have a moment of taking in, oh, wow, you know, he's created this, or he's taking us in this direction, and then you get down to the business of picking it apart and, uh, you know, figuring out what you're going to do with it. How is the show, how is the series changing as we move into this new season? Well, obviously, Will Graham is uh, now accused of everything I've done, so he ends up in jail in the, in the first season, and that's where he's sitting, and he is obviously trying his best to get out of there. My job is to try to regain our friendship, which is an uphill battle, and that's where we start out. What attracted you to the series first? Uh, initially, it was, um, well, obviously, I read the script, this is the, uh, the first episode, and then met uh, Brian and sat, and sat down and he described to me, well, first of all, he described like four or five seasons worth of, of, of what was in his head, which was pretty amazing. Um, and, 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 and I felt that on that basis alone, like it, because you sign up for a long time in TV, you've got to be sure that it's, you're going to be interested three years down the line, potentially. And, and also just Brian himself, his enthusiasm, his, his imagination, I, you know, I thought, okay, I'd like to, I'd like to be working with that guy. Is it everything and more? It's everything and more, yeah. No, it's, it's been great. And he's, he remains very generous with his, uh, with his intentions. You know, he really invites you into the, the conversation and, and responds if you, if you have, you know, anything you want to throw in there, which is not always the case. No, and for your role, that was, I, I'm imagining that was crucial. If you're signing up for a multi-year run. Yeah. I mean, I had the exact same experience as, as she had. I read the first one. I had a meeting with Brian, and he was... I think he had 10 minutes to pitch the whole thing, but after two and a half hours, he was still going at it. <laughs> and I just felt that that's a lot of energy. That's a fantastic brain this man has. And, and, and to be part of a show where the showrunner is so creative would, would be an honor. And in what way did the films, before you even shot the first frame for you, what way did the, the, the franchise affect you, the film franchise? I think that Brian himself had detached himself from, from the films uh, and obviously any actor who come on board and give life to Hannibal will, will do something down their own alley. So that would be different just saying that. Uh, but having said that, the character is still Hannibal. He's a lover of fine art and, f and fine people who find music. Uh, and food? Yes. Uh, <laughs> so we could not detach ourselves 100%. But it was, it was important that we didn't try to copy uh, Anthony Hopkins because that would be creative suicide. Uh, he was fantastic and, and we are doing something else.